Hey guys, in this video, we are going to understand the natural way to reduce joint pains. How to increase the strength of your joints, ways to increase the grease that is the synovial fluid in your cartilage and this all we will try to accomplish naturally. So the prominent cause of your joint pain is the inflammation in the cartilage or the reduction of this grease that is the synovial fluid or could be the lack of the collagen. Now let us understand what is this cartilage. Cartilage is present in the joints and it is like a cushion which reduces the friction between the bones and also prevents the bone from rubbing against each other. But with the increasing age, this cartilage also starts wearing out and then pain in the joints start. Now how can this cartilage be protected from all this wear and tear? And if you have already a worn cartilage, how you can repair it? How you can increase the grease that is the synovial fluid in your knee joints and that too all naturally we will understand so as we said that the cartilage is present in your joint and it is actually located at the end of the bones in your joints you can think it of a rubber like covering at the end of your bones which protects these bones from the wear friction and any sort of the shocks so that is why if this cartilage wears out or get damaged due to any reason then the pain starts occurring in the joints uh, now with cartilage, it is important to understand that there is a protein that is known as collagen and it plays a very important role in the making of this cartilage. It provides the strength, the elasticity to the cartilage. So for the smooth movement of your joints, collagen that is a protein is also required. Now to increase this collagen naturally, there are many ways. If you are non-vegetarian, you can go for fish. The salmon fish is very good. You can go for the chicken broth and if you want to do it by eating fruits then you can go for the citrus fruit like mosambi, oranges, Indian gooseberry, amla etc. They all will increase the production of collagen in the body. Actually your diet is directly related to the health of your cartilage and it proportionally affects it. So if your diet is wrong, your cartilage can also wear out. And if you improve your diet, you add on some superfoods, you can naturally strengthen this cartilage. Let us now talk about some of the superfoods that are really very beneficial for your cartilage. The number one is, as I have told, the citrus fruits. So you can take oranges, mosambi, amla, lemon. So try to include these things in your diet because they are not only good in vitamin C and thus they will be boosting your immunity. But it will also help in the production of collagen that is a protein that will help in building your cartilage and, and collagen will ultimately make your cartilage strong flexible so the first was the citrus fruit then comes the green leafy vegetable like spinach fenugreek amaranth so these green vegetables are quite rich in vitamin e and calcium and are essential for the protection of your cartilage you must include them in your salad it is quite easy to include them in the salad if you are including them in the salad you're actually eating them raw and then you are getting the most of the nutrients out of them. Or in any ways, you can go for these green leafy vegetables. They will benefit you enormously. Next is the green tea. Green tea contains some antioxidant called catechins that act as a protective shield for your cartilage. By drinking a cup full of green tea twice a day, you can protect your cartilage from getting damaged and can also heal damaged or worn out cartilage to a great extent. Apart from this, there is turmeric, there is ginger and they are also a great pain reliever as well as the joint pain and the cartilage repair can be done to a great extent when you include them in your diet. You already know the anti-inflammatory properties of turmeric and ginger and due to this only they will be curing your joint pain and the drying grease. For this you can drink the turmeric milk that is add a pinch full of turmeric in the boiling milk and this is good to be drunk before going to the bed at night. The milk should not be very hot, it should be warm enough to be drunk easily. This will give you a lot of relief in your joint pains and also it will enhance the quality of your sleep. Now using ginger also gives you the equal effect. You can boil 2 to 3 inch long ginger in boiling water. Keep it boiling for 5 minutes and then you can let it warm and drink after your meals. This is a great relief in your joint pain. This will not only alleviate the joint pain but also it is good for your digestion. Next is to eat pomegranate. Pomegranate is very beneficial for your joints. We know a lot of benefits of pomegranate related to the iron deficiency and to building up the quality and the quantity of blood in our body. But pomegranate also have anti-inflammatory properties that reduces the inflammation in your joints and help fight the oxidative stress. According to a research, drinking pomegranate juice can prevent damage to the cartilage and also has a property to repair the damaged cartilages. Other than this, omega-3 fatty acid that is found in good quantity in salmon fish, nuts and most of the seeds like flax seeds, chia seeds, 
they are also very good to be eaten to reduce this joint pain or the inflammation. Eating the food that are rich in omega-3 fatty acids will increase the lubrication inside your knees. And apart from this, you already get a lot of nutrients, a lot of minerals out of it. Now, this is something that you can change in your diet and can strengthen your joint, make your joints flexible and make them less painful. Now, the next step to alleviate this joint pain or to heal your cartilage problem is to go for the low impact exercise but but make sure that if you are a patient of arthritis but then do not exercise and you need to seek the advice from your doctor first but if you do not have the arthritis problem the low impact exercise like swimming walking cycling yoga they all are having very good results on the joint pain and the cartilage problem swimming is an exercise that gives your joint a workout that does not put too much stress on them due to the light resistance from the water apart from this if you want you can do cycling this is also a very low impact exercise when you do cycling your knees get smooth movement there is no shock or force etc and finally if you want you can also do yoga yoga is really very good not only to calm you mentally but also it stretches your ligaments and tendons. Yoga will increase the blood circulation inside the joint, increases the flexibility and make your joints stronger. Research tells us that when we do low impact exercise, our body produces synovial fluid. That is, it releases the grease found in the joint, which lubricates our joint and also nourishes them. In this way, these exercises not only make the joints flexible and strong, but also protect the cartilage from the damage. So friend, these were some of the tips, what change you can do in your diet, how you can do mild and low impact exercise to alleviate the joint pain, to strengthen and flex your joints. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, kindly press the like button. Share this video for a broader reach. And if you have any question, you can put it across the comment section. If you want to read this article, the description has the link of it. You can go and read the article as well. Thank you very much for watching this video. We will connect in another video. Till then, peace out. Stay happy. Stay healthy.